The city and county of Honolulu is considering opening up haiku stairs to the public. But it won't be easy and it won't be free. Kimberly Speakman has our top story. What the city and county of Honolulu is thinking about doing is setting up managed access to the haiku stairs with a fee. They want to work with an organization that would take over the haiku stairs and restore, operate, and maintain it. They also want to set up a fee system to help pay for this, similar to how Hanama Bay is set up. Lisa Bishop with Friends of Hanama Bay says setting up this type of system has worked. The city and county of Honolulu and DLNR at the time in 1990 were prescient in saying that we really have to educate the visiting public to Hanama Bay and we have to reduce the numbers of the visiting public to Hanama Bay. The whole concept was great and the initial implementation was great. But the partnership hasn't been a perfect one. Bishop says the city still has a difficult time upkeeping the bay and haiku stairs would be much worse. And only because the extent of the trails would have to be, uh, they would have to be extensively um, upgraded and made safe. But residents in the surrounding neighborhood of the haiku stairs say controlling access to the stairs hasn't worked so far, with thousands of people illegally trudging through their property and hopping over the fences. And they don't believe that will change under this new proposal. There are so many access points around here. Unless the private corporation is willing to put a security guard at every one of the, you know, tens of, you know, uh, entry points, it's it's just not gonna it's just it's not gonna work. And if the trail becomes legal, he says there may be even more illegal parking. They'll, they'll double tri park, triple park, and. They'll be on the mountain for three to four hours, and we can't, you know, there's no way to get in touch with them at any point in time. Right now, the city is still gathering responses as to how this could possibly work. Kimberly Speakman, KHON 2 News, working for Hawaii.